So I'm Nikki, I'm um, 25 this year and I'm a mum to Nixon who will be two in July and it's just the best thing ever being a mum. This time last year the person that I was is the complete polar opposite of who I am now. I was isolated from my family and I let myself be put in that position where I entered into a relationship, an abusive relationship, and allowed myself to be taken away from my family. When I started going in that downward spiral, I just thought there's no point even trying to get back up because life was really wick and I didn't think that there was any way I could come back so I might as well just not even try. It pretty much got to the point where I was a prisoner in my own flat. It was going from bad to worse and I realised that this isn't love, this isn't what love is, this isn't what a relationship should be like. You know, I need to be home with my son and my family, and I need to be a mom. And I just, I just find myself just on my knees, crying out to God, like, help me. You know, I, I shouldn't be here, this isn't what life is. And I knew that I couldn't get out of that situation or get my life back in control without God. At the end of June last year, I finally came home, back home to my family, my son. I totally wouldn't have had the courage or the guts to get out of that situation and that relationship if I hadn't have cried out to God first. When I came home, I actually got talking to my granny who told me that she'd been praying for me, for God to bring me to my knees, and that's what happened. And I was home for a couple of months and my auntie actually invited me here to the coffee house and um, it was a Thursday and she'd invited me here come and get a coffee in our new church and see our new building so I came down and we had a really good chat and she knew how difficult the times that I were that I'd been through and I was feeling really depressed and really I just hated myself for everything that I'd done I couldn't forgive myself I'd actually seen on Facebook about solace but my auntie said to me that day as well because it was on that evening. I went along to Solace and I met Barbara there. Like we were standing in the church car park for over an hour and before I even knew what was happening I was just telling her everything. She told me that how she was saved, how much God had changed her life, just made up my mind that night that I wanted to be saved. From the moment I was on my knees crying out to God until the moment I decided to give my life to Jesus that night after solace, every moment is definitely God's work. Since I've decided to follow Jesus, I've really discovered not only what life is like, but who I am as well. Every day I wake up and I'm glad, whereas before I didn't even want to get out of bed. Looking back at it now, I know that actually God's always been with me, even through the darkest moments of my life, but it was actually me who pushed him away and didn't want him to be in my life. And it was only when I cried out for him to help that he actually did.
God has taught me that, yeah, that he really, really loves me and that he has forgiven me for everything. I know that I don't have to feel guilty or ashamed anymore because all my sin and shame has been left at the cross. Other people might look at me and ask, you know, oh, she's not really living, she doesn't even have her own house, she's a single mom, she's not working, you know. Every single situation of my life, I just give it over to God and I trust in God. I'm not worrying about when am I going to move out and get my own place for me and Nixon or I'm just I'm learning to be thankful and grateful in every circumstance. If they were to look back at me this time last year and now the only difference is Jesus and just the forgiveness and the love and the peace that I have now because of Jesus in my life. I'm truly living now.